Okay, so you can see my project is moving along quite nicely and it looks a little different this time. And I'll show you some things that I've done. So I started out with a plain clip and then I added in a transition just like I did in the last video. But I'm using the title for the set clip slightly differently. I'm using it as a placeholder. Sometimes some black is nice. Um, so you don't have to actually have words. You can use it as a um, as space filler. So that's what I've done here and then I put in another transition. Now this purple stuff in the background, that's actually audio. I'm going to just mention something here. First of all, if you're going to be publishing your video anywhere, you need to make sure you have permission to use the audio. And when you click on this uh, music note button, it shows you the music browser. And inside of iLife, there is a ton of, of royalty-free, copyright-free um, sounds. Sound effects, jingles is where you'll find your music. Foley is where you're going to find a lot of, and just different, you know, different, all these other categories, you're going to find different sound effects. Um, you can also import music into iTunes. Now, obviously, some of the stuff in here I've created, some of the stuff is commercial music. I, right now, am using commercial music, but this is only for myself. I'm just doing this for fun. So, just so you're aware um, that... Uh, you need to be careful when you're doing this kind of work that you're not using other people's copyrighted material and claiming it as your own. So, I mean, I've got some um, some commercial music here. If I were to get in touch with the band and the producer and they were, they were cool with me using it, that would be fine. But I would need to have that permission. So what I did was I took the music track and I dragged and dropped it in behind on this gray zone here in behind my project. And that adds it to the entire project. Now, I dragged it around so that it's starts a little bit later and and I can see the waveform so I this is the audio waveform so I can see that I'm lining it up exactly where I want to line it up I could have also dragged it and dropped it over top of a clip and that would what's called pin it to the clip and it would travel with the clip and then you can increase the duration and slide it around just like you do with your um, titles so the other option you have when you're doing audio um, is to do a voiceover. So you can record a voiceover just like I'm doing right now as I'm recording myself with the built-in microphone on my um, on my MacBook. But you can borrow a USB headset or set up a fancy microphone uh, and you can do it that way. Um, you can also record, uh, record, record your voice on your camcorder. And then, like I was showing you before, you can do a drag and drop, drag that, that clip It'll be in your event browser. You can drag that clip over top of another clip and and replace the audio only of the incoming track um, uh, instead of having it um, from the track that you have been working on. So there's a few ways to incorporate audio. Just make sure that if you're going to publish it, it's you have permission to use other people's music.